everybody, Pastor Alton here. I'm going to keep this one really quick because, to be honest, I've had a crazy busy week for some reason. We had a presbytery by Zoom last night, a session meeting today by Zoom. We're already starting to make plans about what worship will look like when we can get back to worship in the building, which is really exciting to be talking about this. Hopefully the premier will give us some information tomorrow when he talks about when the first stage of the three-stage plan will roll out. I don't think we'll be part of the first stage, but it will be good to know what the stages are. And then as things progress, we'll be able to look with excitement towards getting together once again. But I am really glad for each and every one of you that tunes in on Sundays, who watches these on Wednesdays. That's fantastic. We really appreciate staying connected with you. I want to talk about the word redemption. I don't know if if redeemed is a word you use too often. I know it's a word that used to be used all the time. It's definitely a biblical word. You probably might use it most when you have a coupon or a gift certificate. And and so someone maybe has bought you a gift certificate. Mary Lee bought me one for my birthday to Boston Pizza. And I redeemed that for some pizza for the family. And that was a very exciting and an awesome gift. Um, and so that word redeemed um, has a lot of complexities and meanings to it. It kind of has a, a meaning in the Bible sometimes of... Uh, let's say someone couldn't pay their debts and and really they didn't have the same social structures we do. So what did they do if they couldn't pay their debts? Well, maybe they sold themselves into slavery as an indentured servant. And so they worked for so many months or years. And, and once that was done, their, their debt was paid. Um, if you were to redeem somebody out of that, what you would do is you'd go and you'd pay their debt for them. You essentially buy them back. And so in many ways, when the Bible talks about that, that's, that's what Jesus has done. The Bible says Jesus has redeemed us. He's bought us back. The wages of sin is death, right? But the gift of God is eternal life and praise be to him for that. Uh, Ephesians. I love the way that Paul puts it in his letter to the Ephesians chapter one, right off, off the bat, Verse 7, in him, that's in Christ, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. The riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. That's a awesome, awesome phrase from the Apostle Paul. Thank you, Paul, for that. Um, we're going to talk about this more on Sunday as we uh, come near to the end of a six-week series, part five of a six-week series, all about what happened after the resurrection. It's a series I've never done before. I've never spent this much time in the last couple chapters of John, but I'm really, really enjoying it, and I hope you are too. Listen, I hope you're doing okay. Our elders are calling people. I know I'm calling a lot of people. We're trying to stay in touch These videos are great, but they're a one-way communication. So I hope they are an encouragement, but don't hesitate to reach out. If you want to talk to me, you know how to find me. If you don't know how to find me, talk to somebody because I'm really easy to find. My email's out there. My phone number's out there. You could text or call uh, just about any time, and and I'd love to hear from you. Okay? So, and the same with our elders. Our elders, too, expressed today their concern. We spent a lot of time praying for the concerns of the people in the church. We know some of you are struggling right now with emotional health. I mean, who isn't right now? Some of you are struggling financially. Um, There's just a lot going on, and we are praying for you, and we love you. And we can't wait to see you again. Um, Yeah, I think that about covers it for me today. I've rambled on enough. What I'm going to do right now is say goodbye and throw it over to Jerry for some music. Jerry. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday Worship. I hope you're all doing well. Our first song today is by Mercy Me, and it's called The Word of God Speak.
week Would you pour down like rain Watching my eyes Hi everyone, welcome to Wednesday Worship. I hope you're all doing well. Our first song today is by Mercy Me and it's called Word of God Speak. song today is Do It Again by Elevation Worship. Thank you. 
the darkness, light arrives and heaven opens. Holy Spirit, let us hear it. When you speak, the church awakens. We believe the change is coming. Holy Spirit, let us see it. When you speak, you scatter darkness, light arrives and heaven opens. Holy Spirit, let us hear it. When you speak, the church awakens. We believe the change is coming. Holy Spirit, let us see it. Your name is power over darkness. Freedom for the captives. Mercy for the broken and the hopeless. Your name is faithful in the battle. Glory in the struggle. Praise be to God. I hope you take care of yourselves in the upcoming week. I'll see you on Friday for Fresh Song Friday. Take care of each other and may you be blessed.